Hello everyone, this is Astronaut Byte and we are back with another video. And today is a good day! Soundhox has been finally released. So let's go and install it. Now the first thing you want to do is go to your 3DS, go to settings. And there's a couple of things that you need to take note of. And that's primarily the, the version of your 3DS and the last bit here where it says 35E just the, uh, the region where your console is from. Okay, so once you have that taken down, let's go to the site and get the files needed to put this into Homebrew. All right, so let's switch to the website. So on the website here, locate the download section and download the file that's specific to your 3DS. As you can see here, it says, uh, old 3DS European version, USA version, Japanese version and so on. So depending on which one you have, go ahead and download that one. Since I have the old 3DS Europe version, I'm gonna download this file. Okay, so choose the download location, I'm gonna go to the desktop and I already have it saved so I'll just override. Once you have that, the other two things that we need to download is the <clears throat> homebrew starter kit so go ahead and save that and the other app now this is where that version comes in so based on your 3ds version go ahead and select the version of your 3ds right here I have 11.2 Point zero point thirty five. Where's thirty five? And E. If your 3DS is from USA, you would choose U. If it's from Japan, you would choose J and Korea K. So I'm in Europe, so I'm gonna choose E. And click on Download Other App. This is gonna download this uh, post. Uh, file just click save Now that you have that it's time to put them on the SD card. So go ahead and plug in your SD card from your 3DS So once you're here you want to take that sound hacks file that you downloaded put it on the root of your SD card take the other app file that you downloaded and put it on the SD card now in this case you need to rename it to other app dot bin like so other app dot bin I'm gonna go ahead and delete this since I already renamed it and the last thing you need is that starter zip that we downloaded and copy all the files from there on the root of your SD card as well. So your SD card should look something like this. You would have the 3DS folder, Nintendo 3DS folder, themes, boot, other app and sound hacks. Now that you have that, you can go back to the 3DS. Alright, so go ahead and insert the SD card back into the 3DS. Alright, so here what you want to do is go to the Nintendo 3DS sound and press A. Click next on this initial pop-up three times there we go now you want to press down until you get to your SD card right here so as you can see record and edit autoplay and SD card go ahead and click open now you should see a file called heart netwill 2016 so go ahead and press play on that this is gonna launch the exploit and boot into the homebrew. 
Now this works on every version of the 3DS including the latest 11.2. Now if you are on 11.2 or actually if you're on anything higher than 9.2 you won't be able to downgrade still. We're still looking for the exploit. But as you can see here if I try to launch the um, Decrypt 9 it's just gonna crash so downgrade option isn't available yet. But everything else such as emulators and all of that stuff should be available to run on the Homebrew launcher. Alright, hope that was informational and credits to Nedwell for the sound hacks exploit. This has been Extra Null Byte and I will see you later. Cheers.